Look at those ears. Usually she pins her ears. Oh no, I forgot all the medicine. Crap. Hi, Gracie Doo. Hi, Gracie Doodle. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a bite? Did you just try and bite me? She's like, you have treats, I know it. All right, I'll be back. I gotta get, look at her. Look at her. Okay, there it is. There it is. She almost wants to do it. She's not sure. I'm gonna message the vet today. Here comes Sophie. I love mornings on the day by day farm when everybody gets up. We meet down in the barn. I forgot Penny's medicine. I want to ride today, hopefully. I'm going to relax today, hopefully. Of course you are. See you in a minute. Today feels like spring, even though there's snow crunching under my feet. It's about minus one. It's supposed to be minus one t today, which is really warm for December. But the sun is out, and that makes it feel like spring. Like I said yesterday, in Canada, we don't get a lot of sun in the winter. All right, well, that was a disaster. You and I have bad luck with medicine. I hope you did not swallow glass, plastic. Yeah, she bit it. So now, when I show her the syringe, she's like, yummy. And she opens her mouth and just sucks the syringe right in. I mean, it was today an she for horses. Then. It was my fault, though. I let her do it. I should have known. I should have stuck it in her cheek. I actually was shocked that she bit it. But look at those ears. Like, you guys. It's because you're dirty. And I have to message the vet. The vet. Actually, we should take our blankets today. It's sunny and supposed to be warm. First, come on. I love you, Pen. My mommy not only kiss. taught himself how to kiss. kiss from Willow, he also taught himself how to hug. Mine did too. I love her. She's funny. She's funny as heck. Go open the door for me. Oh. Wait. Aw. I said. Why I said go open the door for me. I was. Then Gabby, be kind. Out. Molly. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. She has a grouchy face on, but you know she was all proud of herself right there. I still have germs on my face from kissing Penny. Oh, Ruby. Can't Ruby. believe I destroyed my one good syringe. Ruby. I hope that plastic Ruby, she ate. Get stuck, in her get stuck in her belly. So today is a big day, a happy day, a fun day. Actually, today is the day that I have to get all my last minute stuff done. I know I've been saying that for days. Like, I'm shopping and getting all my last minute stuff done. Now, today I have to just buy like everything I'm gonna need for the next 30 days, 28 days, because we're in lockdown soon. All my baking stuff so I can bake. Yeah. Like, we need more. Oh, I found recipes for caramel macchiatos and stuff we could make at home. You need all your candy? Uh -huh. Gabby's gonna need a lot of candy for 28 days with us. Same. We're gonna need lots of alcohol for 28 days I'm with gonna Gabby. Eat, I'm gonna need a lot of candy too. It's Just joking. Oh, oh, January 1st, friends, we'll be back on the wagon. No sugar. Yeah, I'm, sure yeah, I'm sure you could. Hashtag mom life. Mom life for the win. Climbed in the car and look what I found. Another syringe, you guys. This is gonna be awesome now that Penny broke the last one. Barely. I swear to God, I do not know how to work my car. I don't know what button. I don't know what buttons that I have to push to defrost this. Usually I use this thing 
But then I push this thing, and I think this might do it. But it's that's only that. That is for that and some of the feet. Oh, but look, it's got that button and that. So I don't think it's that. I think it is that. That's for that. And oh, I see. So it is this. Anyways, we're stuck here until my car defrosts. First stop, coffee. We are in the drive-thru, you guys. To be fair to Gabby, all the time I video her in the morning and she's super grouchy on weekends, Sam goes and gets his coffee. So then she's like, woohoo, let's drink coffee. And then like the rest of the week, she gets no coffee. She's like up and down and up and down. And that's why you never let your kids drink coffee. But today, but today this girl's getting coffee. For Tino. So Gabby found the deal of the century just before Christmas, the mega bag of Sour Patch. How many does Chino actually get? How many does Gabby oh, actually get? Because Can I you have buy them? sour Skittles. Because I have sour Skittles. And so the girls. quarantine candy, so we're good. Oh, this is Gabby's quarantine stash, you guys. Okay. And then this is Chino. Truffle and truffle. Oh my goodness. So the girls, I was off on my own filling my cart, and the girls found me because they heard my phone. Like, it's a sad life when people can find you because your phone never stops going off. I think I'm being followed. I think I'm being followed. Well, then you started running. Yeah. Do you find me these pajamas? They're super cute. They are super cute. But you already got pajamas for Christmas. But these yeah. ones are for like now. Boxes of fairs and monstrous. Well, what are you saying? What are you saying, Gabby? TVs that match the size box. She's saying that she saw a box in her house that had a, that was this size. That's a 58 inch. I know. Um, this one's a 65. It's $24. That was way too big. The toy shelves are stocked. It is a couple days before Christmas, and there are more toys here than I've ever seen before. You guys are going the wrong way. Yoda! Um, uh, we're at Walmart, and we found a uh, baby Yoda. Are you, are you pulling a rank here, calling Dad? Yeah. It's adorable. Uh, one of them's small, but it moves and closes its eyes and opens it. So they're trying to get it. They're calling ranks. They're calling dad. One of my favorite things about Christmas is nuts. I love nuts. Nuts are my favorite thing. I feel like nuts are one of those controversial things where you either like nuts or you don't like nuts. Do you like nuts? Or you're allergic to them. Yeah. Do you like nuts? Comment yes. below. Do you yes. like nuts? I'm the best mom ever. This is to Chino and all the horses, but mainly to Chino. What is it, Gabby? Tell us what it is. It is his Sour Patch Kids. The jumbo bag of Sour Patch Kids. Our horses are so blessed. We're headed out. Except for Storm. Storm doesn't like them. What did you get for Storm? The cookies. Okay, so Storm's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Look at the Storm beauty. Needs. Look at the beauty of this gorgeous, well-behaved puppy. It is not well behaved. Well behaved present. It is not. All right, we're headed out. Let's go. We are headed out. Where are we going? Riding, and I'm sleeping over at Kaylee's. Last sleepover of the year, you guys. Watch for TikToks. Uh oh, one of the dogs escaped. I went down to feed the ponies. Took my van down there, so we can't even wait in the car for him. What the heck, Sam? So we have to walk all the way down there anyway. What was the point of that? Explain your logic. Forgot the camera. How is my girl? But the logic is, why is my van down here? Because I don't want to get my shoes muddy. All right, so we are all in the car. We brought Little Whoa. Miss Daisy. Little Miss Crazy. Little Miss Crazy. She's going. She has to get her shots, but Gabby. So this is the thing. Like they said, lockdown. So everybody's trying to get all the stuff in now. Gabby's having her last sleepover for the next 28 days at Kaylee's house. Gabby, I found your lipstick. You want it or you want me to leave it in the car? It stays in the car. All right, I like that color. Anyways, it's we are. Lip gloss is just shiny. So Gabby's going to her last sleepover of the okay, season. Tried to call me. And then uh, Paige, you guys know Paige, Gary's owner. She messaged Gabby and said, hey, how about we go for a trail ride? And so now all of them are gonna go on a trail ride and the ground is kind of icy, kind of. Well, not really icy. The ground is kind of hard still because there's not a lot of 
snow and that's it's why it's not bumpy right so gabby's gonna ride chino they're not gonna race they're not gonna gallop there's no galloping in this trail there's furious there and he can only walk Paige is taking her other horse you guys gotta meet him he is gorgeous mm -hmm. he's my dream um so they are gonna just go for a quick trail and then gabby's gonna go over to kaylee's and then we're gonna take the puppy to the vet and then we're gonna rest are we gonna rest them no because we got other things we got one more store do we have to go Oh, Kaylee just gave Gabby a pre or so Sophia her Christmas Wait, present. Gabby. You want to open it right now, quick? Sure. That's so nice. Just came in today. Just came in today. Well, that was lucky. Some foaming hand soap. Oh well, you know Sophie be always asking for that. I thought it was booze. <gasps> a slime kit. Oh, well, there you go, Sophie. The one thing that she wanted that we didn't buy her. I always get you it. <laughs> well, then we're going to have to remember that for next year because then we'll never worry about it. By the way, Kenny's saying, wash your hands. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Gabby, you're so rude. Yeah, like soap Gabby is so rude. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, that is rude. All right, have fun. Gr draw, ride carefully. Ride slowly because the ground is hard. Yeah, be careful with Kenny, okay. right? Yeah, be careful, but Chino, wait, the door. Okay. Kaylee, I gave Sophie a slime kit, which Sophie loves slime, Ugh. and some soap, because soap, what does it do? Um, it's good in slime. Mm -hmm. Because she likes to mix a bunch of stuff into. And um, it's foaming hand soap. It's foaming it's hand soap, so it does, it. you can mix it in slime, it does amazing things. And Gabby says Kaylee's trying to tell you to wash your hands. That's so rude. We are a sarcastic family though, you guys. We get it. We don't get hurt feelings over silly things like that. But yeah, sisters, gotta love them. We are home from the vet. We're home from the vet. It's, I just tried to turn on the lights. That's how dark it is in here. That's the problem. My dog barked twice. So uh, the puppy is not good in the car. She's not good in the car. She puked twice. Going to the vet. Going to I Kaylee. I don't blame her. I almost barked in the car before too because it's cursing. So. Uh, Somebody just said to me, like, if we move to Florida or go to Florida or buy someplace in Florida and then go like back and forth, somebody's gonna have to watch Daisy. She won't be able to come because she gets car sick. Daisy, did you just do that? are you okay? Do you forgive us? Do you forgive us, little puppy? Just wait. So the people that run our barn are amazing. Are the kindest people on earth. Our horses love it there. I literally love them. So uh, tomorrow when we go ride, I've got them two. I got them each. Uh, a coffee Christmas gift certificate for $25 each. I bought them some chocolates and I bought them wine. I, I asked about what they like to drink and this is what they like. I'm gonna get them a pizza gift certificate from the place that they eat pizza. They eat pizza together every single Friday night and but it ended up that it, it, the pizza place is a bit far and Sam said, no, I'm not driving there. So I guess, so that is out of the question for this year. Hopefully they'll like the coffee, chocolate, and wine. You know what she's begging you to Even want? though I really wanted to get some pizza. You know what she wants you to do? What does she want me to do? Take, take her outside. Are you going outside? Good girl. I just got a phone call from Gabby and Kaylee. They FaceTimed me. You guys know we dropped Gabby off at Kaylee's house and then they were gonna go to the barn, meet Paige and another girl and go on a trail ride. Yeah, it was a trail ride gone wrong and I thank the Lord I wasn't there for it. So I guess what happened was they were all ready to go. They were standing out in the courtyard in front of the barn and Gabby realized that it was freezing cold. She ran back in to get her coat and she just said, hey, can you guys watch Storm? He should be fine. You guys know Storm, he never moves. He just stands there. Well, yeah, not this time. In typical Storm fashion, just as she was coming back out of the barn with her coat in hand, he saw her and started to just walk away. Started to walk toward the house. She walked, she started walking after him. He started walking a little bit faster. She started walking a little bit faster. He went around the back of the house and Gabby screamed out, Kaylee. Kaylee, who was already on top of Oakley, uh, went around the other side of the house to cut him off. So Gabby's behind him, Kaylee's in front of him, and he just started trotting down at the side of the road. And before they knew it, he was, you know, the spot where we go um, to go to the trail ride and we go along the fence line. Well, he was across the ditch along the road line. He was trotting down the road. And so Kaylee went after him on Oakley, praying with all her might. You guys know what December is like for us. And 
storm just started cantering away down the highway it is such a busy road you guys it is like way busier than ours it is a highway kaylee is neck and neck going down the highway storm on the side of the road kaylee just out just beside him and they are cantering down the road it got 30 minutes this chase went on for 30 minutes you guys at this point gabby is still back at the barn on foot another girl jumped off her horse Paige stayed at the barn with the other two horses so now we got kaylee on foot the other girl jumped in some stranger's car and is racing down the road alongside Storm. So there's Storm. So there's Storm. Then there's Kaylee. And then there's a car. And he's just going. All of a sudden, at one point, he decides, mm, this is boring. He cuts across the highway in front of a car. All these cars were stopping. Uh, he cuts in front of this little car. He stops dead in front of this car. Rears up. I don't know if he's trying to call the car on or what. Rear straight up. Kaylee was freaking out. She said that she was going to try and grab his uh, his reins. Apparently his reins were completely centered in the across his neck perfectly the whole entire ride. So uh, he, so, she, so Kaylee's standing there ready to grab his reins the minute he drops back down. Imagine being on your horse and another horse right beside you rearing in front of a car in the middle of traffic on a highway. So yeah. So, he lands with his feet down on the ground and takes off running before Kaylee can grab the halter. The horse is not dumb. You guys have seen seen him. He plans it all out. He takes us for a ride all the time and then runs back home when he's done. So, he starts running off again down the middle of the highway and there's Kaylee. She's like screaming at cars, yelling, flailing her arms all over the place trying to direct traffic because at this point it's just Kaylee and Storm and a whole lot of cars. So, um, 30 minutes. Storm kept going down the highway with Kaylee going at it, going with him. I guess Oakley was exhausted after this happened. Gabby decided to ride Storm because she didn't feel comfortable riding uh, Chino on the hard ground because his feet are still adapting to not having shoes. So eventually, 30 minutes down the road, 30 minutes you guys, down the road, he pulls into somebody's driveway, this big huge mansion, they have their front yard all gated, pulls into the gate and just stands there. Kaylee rides up, grabs a hold of his reins, and then she ponies him home, 30 minutes. This is a 30 minute horse chase in the middle of a highway in winter, and it was just Kaylee and Storm, like Kaylee saved Storm, Kaylee saved the day. This is a trail ride gone wrong. And they phoned me and they were like, mom, we're going to tell you a story. You want to hear a story? And I was like, mm, do I really want to hear the story? And they, I felt like they were nervous to tell me, but this could happen to anybody anytime. And I guarantee that that will never happen to Gabby again. You will never, ever leave her horse to go in and get a coat again. Like something like that happens to you once and then you learn, but yeah, who would have ever thought who would have ever thought that Storm would take on a car? Storm, like, I swear, he watches. It's him. It's always him that, want, like, I'm telling you, that that horse, I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, it's so scary. I told them, you know what, I'm so glad it was them, even though they were, like, stressed out. Gabby said that the whole time she had this song in her head, just let him die, just let it die, just let it die. And so then she was panicking, thinking that her horse is going to die, and she's just walking the whole time. Thank goodness she got her coat. But if I had been there, it would have been a million times worse because I would have lost my mind. I would have freaked out. I would have been, I do not do well in situations like that. I don't. I just scream and yell and cry and freak out. I would have just made it all way worse. They managed it. They saved the day. They got the horse back. And even if really bad things had happened, I feel like they could have handled it. Like they are really strong, amazing girls. And I'm really proud of how they handled that. I'm going to tell you guys, have this on record, December 22nd, the day the storm ran down the highway and took on car and took on a car. And Sam's home. I'm gonna go tell him. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't you know that you're beautiful?